A basic change to a prolific platform, where simple is smooth, smooth is fast, and fast cycles at 800 rounds per minute. Ha! It's me, I'm back in Call of Duty. Today I have something to show you that only logically doesn't belong in the M4 family if you squint really hard and work for Activision. I'm Six Snipes, today we're taking a look at a real powerhouse that is the Chimera, and you're watching Gun Guide. The real world counterpart, AAC Honey Badger PDW, a product of the new era of firearms where the word submachine gun wasn't good enough so they made a personal defense weapon for functionally identical systems to sell more product, was prototyped, developed, and manufactured by Advanced Armament Corporation, a suppressor designer and former distributor of Gemtech in close cooperation with American Special Operations teams in search for what everyone was in the market for by the early 2000s, a replacement for the aging MP5 design at the dawn of the new age of body armor. The Kevlar Renaissance was in motion, and pistol caliber weapons were no longer acceptable for battlefield roles where plate carriers and helmets can now negate them with relative ease. A new class of firearm with a compact rifle caliber round was necessary to take on this role until it wasn't, but that's not the point of this video. While not a pure AR-15 design, lacking in some features such as a forward assist, the Honey Badger was developed using an M4A1 upper and lower with a modified barrel and a detachable suppressor that is often misidentified as integral. The more interesting element is the companion caliber, 300 AAC Blackout, also known as 7.62x35, born from the desire to have a 30 caliber AK sized round capable of super and subsonic action based off of powder load with the same diameter as 5.56 is to maintain magazine compatibility where the only thing you'd need to switch out an AR-15 to make it chamber it is the barrel. With that level of compatibility, you have to ask why the Chimera isn't, isn't in the, the M4, M4 unlock, unlock tree. tree. A novel design and a functional idea, but the real reason most people have heard of this gun is to my understanding based off its featuring in like one Black Ops game where it was completely broken. Thank you, Call of Duty. Very cool. The levels of notoriety this firearm has experienced on YouTube with range videos and gaming content, everyone in their mom wanting this piece might have been a contributing factor to why in October of 2020 the ATF actually sent a cease and desist letter to the firearm manufacturer of the Honey Badger effectively banning their sale and it has never seen production since, like if you hate the ATF. And the only success it celebrates now is as an addition to shooters under non-copyright vulnerable names like we see here. But how does the Chai Latte do in Modern Warfare 2 Fate of the Modern Warfare? That's an excellent question. <clears throat> Well, I just got done leveling it from 0 to 18. It did not take long. I'm going to be honest with you, I am bad. I am consistently negative in most of my games. In my better performances, I am lucky to get a cluster mine off before the end of a match. I need to use Hardline for the cruise missile to even be visible on my killstreak menu, okay? So when I tell you that the largest problem I had with making this video is unironically having so much good footage I couldn't fit it all in a 5 minute guide, you would better believe this is probably the best gun I have used, period. I'm not memeing, okay? I'm not blowing it out of proportion like I would with other guns because it's funny, alright? I'm done joking. This is the best gun I have used, and I'm shocked I haven't heard anybody talking about it. I mean, it's not that shocking I don't watch Call of Duty on YouTube. The LEGO Chima is probably best described as an M4 if you took the range slider and moved it all the way over to close, okay? The fire range is absurd. It's very good. In fact, this might shoot faster than anything else I've used in the game yet, but that's not really meaningful until you consider the fact that the recoil is like weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. It doesn't exist. There's a lot of words you could use for this gun. Shredder, blender, cheese grater, but the way it completely rinses unintensive players, I'd call it a garbage disposal. The fact that you get a suppressor integrated into the barrel this gun comes with at the start is already fantastic. The fact that without attachments this already has a recoil of a dual shot controller is beyond great. I've never played the free-for-all game mode in my entire life, and on my first match I called in so many A-10s in for gun runs, the air traffic coordination on my part made Delta Airlines look like a Bitch. I didn't kill anyone though, that killstreak sucked. I went down to the hotel and used the super horn from Mario Kart to deafen the entire enemy team to the point of complete ignorance. On multiple occasions I thought I was going to run out and then some other poor stupid moron comes blundering out of nowhere and gets hosed down like a battery fire and then I'm free to drop a cruise jet. I still have airstrike equipped. You might wonder what attachments are good on this gun. This gun is so good I tried making it bad with the 20 round nerf clip in a barrel that's somehow shorter than default and I still killed John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald over 
we're here without any issues whatsoever. I went down to the border with payback in mind, and rather than me getting blown up by cars, okay, that didn't happen. I dropped enough cruise missiles to surpass the United States defense budget. I then went into Mexico and figured win in Rome, so in alignment with cultural norms, I started a gang war and shot a bunch of women. This gun is so good, the devs had to make it so that you can't even use the M4 attachments on it. I had to level some other random ass gun to even get grips for it. I unlocked the laser slot, and the two lasers I have can't even fit on it, but that doesn't matter because this gun melts people faster than the ultra settings melt your GPU. I am running out of ways to say that this gun is good. Until I find the time to consult a thesaurus, consider pushing one of the buttons down below. I'm Six Snipes, this is the Chia Pet, and I'll see you out there in Modern Warfare. Relax and take notes while I take of the marijuana store. Oh, you wanna choke, gun smoke, gun smoke.